welcome to today's PE session. Um, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking at some kind of racket skills, but obviously doing that at home. The items we're going to need is if we've got one, get a balloon, um, a hard back book of some sort. It doesn't have to be as big as this, it can be a slightly smaller one, and a pair of rolled up socks. Okay, so if you can go away and grab those bits, then come back and join in the session. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully we've managed to get all those bits and pieces. Um, the first thing we're going to do is going to use the balloon and we're just going to have a, initially just have a little go at throwing and catching that balloon like so. And you'll notice that it takes a good while to come back down. So in terms of practicing tennis skills, this is actually quite good because it comes down quite slow. It allows us to move and get in line with where the, where the uh, balloon is. So all we're going to do is we're going to use our hand to start with. And we're just going to hit the balloon up and as it comes down we're just going to try and knock it up and down like that you can use both hands if you want so this is just looking at our tracking skills um, and being able to strike uh, object into the air okay so have a really good go at this and then come back in a second for the next part of the session Okay, welcome back. Now, because we're going to do some kind of racket skills, what we're going to do need now is going to need an item to be striking that ball with. If you do have a tennis racket at home, by all means, get that out and use that. If not, a book, a hard back book's better because it's a bit more rigid. All we're going to do now is, again, using the balloon, we're going to try and use the book to knock it up and down now. So we're going to hit it up, and then again, we're just going to follow it and watch it. And as you see, because it's a balloon, gives us plenty of time to then practice that. Trying to make sure that we're hitting that balloon straight up in the air, okay? And tracking it all the time up and down onto that book or racket. Okay, go away and have a try at that and I'll see you in a, bit, in a minute for the next part of the, of the session. Okay, now welcome back again. Now if you found the bit with the balloon really, really easy, now what we can do is we can try and make this a little bit harder by using the pair of rolled up socks. If you've got a ball, you can use a ball, that maybe is a little bit easy, especially a sponge ball. Um, the rolled up socks with them being not perfectly round, they will fly all over the place. Um, so if you have got a sponge ball, maybe have a go with that as well. Um, but all we're going to do now is we're going to try and hit this up and down. Now if we use the throwing and catching that we did before, you'll notice that the ball comes down much quicker. Okay, it doesn't float down, so it's a little bit quicker, a little bit harder to keep our eyes on. So, same thing as we did before, using the book or the racket, eyes on the item we're going to strike all the time. We're going to see if we can do as many of these in a row as we can. As soon as it hits the floor, pick it up and just have another try. Okay, so we're going to just try and hit that ball up in the air. As you notice, this is moving much, much quicker. Okay. And what I want you to do is go away and see how many of them you can do in a row. Okay, hopefully you've enjoyed today's session and I'll see you again another time.